what's up welcome back to a new video i hope you're doing well wherever you're watching from in this video today i'm gonna be talking about something i haven't really spoken about on this channel before it's how you can flip loops and how you can chop them up in a way where if you have a loop like maybe you get a loop from a store like mine or wherever you get loops from you can be able to repurpose them and kind of flip them into your own kind of style into your own kind of thing right so i have uh i have this sound here that i'm gonna play for you so it's here in the piano roll and this is actually from a loop and what i just did is that i just added a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb and it plays in this track here which is this track <laughs> So what I did was that I just flipped that loop and then I kind of switched the everything around, you know, so that it sounds different because I just wanted the, the shots in there. And what I used is something really basic. It's just using Fruity Slicer and then that, that's what I want to show you guys how to do. So all I just did is that if you find a loop that you like, like let's say for instance, this fill here and you like that and you like the samples that are in here and you want to have that kind of organic feel all you just have to do is come here to this side to the left side of your browser and you can just right click it and say uh, open a new fruity slicer channel boom and then it's gonna auto slice but what it's gonna do is that it's going to have everything laid out in the piano roll like this all the slices are gonna be laid out in notes in your piano roll so you can uh, like switch these around if you want to if you maybe you want to change the sound as is like i can do that and switch everything around if i want to like if i want to kind of you know i don't know just change the sound to make it sound different if that's kind of your thing you can totally do that so you have to just take your time to make sure that it sounds dope and it sounds good but what i like to do is that i like to just delete everything like that because you can just literally delete everything and as you can see here on the left side everything is still marked so all your slices are marked like from slice one to slice nine so all of these now are now like samples in your piano roll so all you can just now do is find the sample that you want if you want to do finger uh, finger drumming if you have your keyboard you can literally record your finger drumming like this So if you want to, you can do that and there you have it. So now you can just put in your notes like that. If you want to, you can put in notes like this. And it's that simple. So instead of your loops and your sounds and your track just, you know, sounding similar to everyone, to how everyone else is using these loops, you can flip your loop like this. And what's also nice, just to, you know, uh, to end this off, is you can also play around here on uh, the slicer here. You can play with the decay. So you can just add a little bit of a, you know, some a fade right there on the decay just to play around with that and you can also kill the attack and just lower the attack like that you can see that the transients are being like lessened if you feel like maybe the transients are too much and you also have these other switches you can like you can literally stretch got pitch here and time stretching and you have so many other things that you can do but this is just basically what i like to do i just like to flip my loops like that so if you 
have loops so if you feel like you have a loop that has some samples that are in the loop that sound really nice and you just want maybe even if it's just one or two uh, samples from that loop you can just use uh, the slicer to just use those and I hope you found this really helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help this video in the algorithm and also share this video with your friends so that they can get this amazing tip and subscribe if you're new here and also check out this video on your screen right now if you want to do more with your drums and improve your drums and also check out my store in the links down below to find samples and plugins and all that good stuff but anyways i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching i'm x and i'm out peace